And one of the interesting stories is Manuel Guzman and his research team in Spain were looking at uh, brain cell metabolism, and they knew that you know THC had been found to work with receptors in the brain, so they were curious how THC affected brain cell metabolism. The studies they were doing were done with brain cancer cells because they reproduce really quickly and you can have a line of cells to study without having to keep buying normal cells. You have your own dedicated line reproducing really quickly and it's much cheaper than buying them and you can get basically the same data. So when they started trying to research THC with brain cancer cells, they couldn't do the research because all the brain cancer cells died off. And they, what's this about? They tried again, brain cancer cells died off, complete death. So they said, wait, 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 wait. They went to the literature, they found the study from 75, so that gave them a clue that they're, you know, what they were seeing um, was valid. And they redirected their study away from brain cell metabolism into cancer, brain cell cancer, and uh, how cannabinoids affect it. And they found that THC and synthetic cannabinoids have the ability to change the signaling at a genetic level so that the cancer cells change their biochemistry. Instead of making pro-survival chemicals within the cancer cell, the genetics are flipped so that they start making chemicals that are hostile to their survival and then they die off. Another thing that the uh, cannabinoids do is to impede the ability of tumor cells to produce blood vessels in order to eat because they divide rapidly, they need a lot of nourishment, and that's why cancer patients waste. They, um, these tumors tap into the host and suck the blood. They're vampires. They drink, you know, tap into the blood system and draw off nutrients. THC inhibits the ability of the uh, cancer tumor cells to produce a compound necessary for producing these blood vessels. This inhibits their ability to thrive and to spread, um, and once they spread, to get a dock and to survive as uh, a metastasis. So they were really amazed by this and continued their research, and other, once they published, other uh, researchers started looking at it, and they found similar activity for breast cancer cells, for colon cancer cells, for um, head and neck cancer cells, bile duct cancer cells, pancreatic cancer cells. So many different lines of cancer cells all responded to THC or synthetic cannabinoids that activate these receptors.